Hey, free spirit beaters! Welcome, welcome back. This. Let me mute my computer. Um, this is your host, Kristen Fagan, here, back with a fresh new video for free spirit beating with Softlex Company here on the Softlex Company channel. Um, hi, how are you doing, Fern? Nice to see you. Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a really nice uh, holiday season and a very happy new year. Um, I'm here today to talk about our new Winter Wonderland bead mix. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I will be showing it to you. Hi Robin, welcome, good to see you. Happy new year. Um, I also have our Winter Wonderland mega tassel to show you. And I have our Winter Wonderland trio set of wire. Uh, in addition, we're going to be doing a um, square knot macrame bracelet today. It was a request on one of our videos that um, I've showed the half knot, the spiral macrame, but I have not shown the full square knot one. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be using the Winter Wonderland Trio wire set and the Winter Wonderland bead mix. Um, yeah, super excited. We have a great sale going on that ends this evening. Uh, it is just shop, buy whatever you want. For every $25 you spend, you will get $5 store credit added to your account for your next order. This is for all retail purchases. And um, the store credit will be added to your account by January 16th. So today's the last day of the sale. We'll go through all the sales numbers, and if you spent $25, you'll get $5 store credit on your account for your next order. You spend $50, you get $10 credit. You spend $75, you get $15 credit. And if you spend $100, you get $25 credit. And you can shop for anything in our store. So if you are a lover of our Extreme Beading Wire, this is a great sale for you because we do not put extreme on sale often, so you can shop for that. If you are in need of crimps after the holiday, you can pick those up. You can check out our closeout section and look for deals on there. And um, as well as our beads are always 30% off on our website. So you can take a look at our beads section and see what's already on sale. And then you'll get credit back for placing your next order. You just have to place that next order before the end of March to use that credit. So pretty cool sale. I love things like that when you could just buy what you like, what you want. Um, I'm going to be doing the macrame bracelet today. So I'm going to show you guys the macrame board. So if you don't have one of those, you can pick one of those up. Very, very cool. All right, let me uh, flip you guys down and let's get going. So here's that deal I was talking about. It's right at softlexcompany.com. Oh, thanks, Chrissy. I did this necklace on, uh, on one of these videos, an early, early one, so it's not the best quality picture, but um, I picked up these quartz beads during one of the Softlex live sales. I think it was from one of Mike's sales. And then I added some Labradorite and I strung it on the dark blue lapis Softlex wire, which is such a pretty, pretty color. Hi, Cheryl, welcome, good to see you. Okay, so what I've got here today is we have this really pretty Winter Wonderland bead mix from Jesse James Beads made special for us. So you can't get this on their website. Um, it was made special for our Winter Wonderland design kit. And we had a bunch more just bead mixes made so that if you missed out on the design kit or you really liked the beads in the design kit and you wanted to get more, uh, you can do that. They're a limited supply. I have used a few already in my bracelets. So this isn't the entire mix, but this is the grouping that you see here. We also have this Winter Wonderland Mega Tassel 
on our website, which is super fun. This was the um, challenge item. We always like to add something into our design challenge kits that will kind of stretch you a little bit to see what you're gonna do with it. I don't know if you guys are members of the Softlex VIB Studio group on Facebook, but if you are, um, people have been, members have been posting and showing what they've been doing with this big mega challenge tassel. It's pretty fun to see. If you're not, you can just head over to Facebook and search um, Softlex VIB Studio Group and you should be able to find it that way. Uh, you can also get to it from our homepage. I think Damien is here with us today. Hi, Damien. And he is, he just shared it here on the chat as well to join the group. Um, some fun things that I saw, one of our members, Sue, made a little angel. Like she just pulled sort of pieces of the tassel out and made little arms and decorated the body, put a little halo. So she made a little angel from it, which I thought was so sweet. And then I saw another member, I don't remember who it was, but they made a purse tassel. So they decorated it with beads and added a little clip on the end to clip onto their purse, which I really love that idea. Um, I'm also thinking maybe a fan pole in my house would be really fun to have this neat big tassel hanging from there. Um, so yeah, so that is called the Winter Wonderland Bead Tassel. We've got that on our website. You can get to it right from the home page in our new products section. And then lastly, we have our Winter Wonderland Trios, which has our Tanzanite color, our turquoise blue topaz, and softlex in white. So really pretty. Um, very wintry feeling set, but also a very summer set because to me I see a lot of nautical inspired designs that could come from this as well. So if you are a blue lover or a lover of the winter or the sea, I think this would be a great trio set to pick up. So the other things I have here today is I've got our Softlex Pro Cutters. You just need any pair of cutters. I have our macro, mini macrame board. And this is the design that I started before the video to give you guys an example. I also have here some bead stoppers. So I've got, this is our regular size bead stopper and this is our mini. Um, they're both good for different reasons. I usually for straight stringing and for things like on the macrame board I prefer the regular the larger side and I like the mini when I do things like bead weaving or if I'm doing kumi hemo or things where I um, maybe need things to be a little more delicate so they're not getting in the way and the reason I like this for straight stringing is they're a bit in my opinion they're a bit tougher they're a bit stronger so they really clamp on hard and I'm super clumsy so I like this really strong regular bead stopper most of the time I also have two little lobster clasps here that I will use and I will have some softlex crimp tubes that I will show you guys a little bit later So I'm gonna move my, get myself situated here. And just move that out of the way. So this is the design that I was working on for our video. It is a square knot macrame. I'm gonna move my camera out just a little bit. So it's a square knot macrame. This way I could get a little bit closer. And I'm using, in this particular one, I use the two colors. I use the blue topaz as my base color, and I have the tanzanite as my knotting strand. So when you look closely, you just can really see a little bit of that darker blue coming in through the bottom of the knot. 
when I get a little too close, you get the, the sun. So I'll move down a little bit. And so all of these beads I pulled from the Winter Wonderland bead mix. And I'm just gonna pop this one off. We'll look at this one again later when we're finishing our design. And I'm gonna set a new one up to do with you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead, let's see if I have enough of the white. I think I wanna try the white as my base strand. So I'm gonna cut two 12 inch strands of my white. And what I'm going to do is take my bead stopper. Actually, I'm just going to tuck it in first. So I'm going to take this and tuck it into the middle of my board. Just like that. So you'll see I have the wire sticking out at both ends. And I'm just going to clamp on my bead stopper back here to hold it in place. I'm gonna put each wire in their own little spring and kind of tug it towards the back of the bead stopper so it's nice and secure. And that will just help to hold my middle strands in place here. And now I'm gonna use the tanzanite as my knotting wire. So you need quite a bit of this. You're gonna to need to start with about I think I did 62 inches on my last one. So I'm gonna cut 62 inches of the Softlex Tanzanite, which is our medium 019. Now, I'm working from a 30 foot spool, but when you get the um, Softlex Trio set, they're gonna be three 10 foot spools. So we're just gonna take our tanzanite wire, the knotting wire, put it underneath the two white wires I have strung in the middle, and I'm gonna find the center of this long knotting tanzanite wire. Okay, so I found the center. I'm gonna go up here to the top. And I'm gonna make a few of my knots first before starting to add a bead. Um, it's nice about the macrame board is you have these little measurements here. So like that's an inch right there. I'm gonna just go up to this first line. So it's approximately a half inch. We'll see how many knots we get. So you're just gonna bring your knotting wire all the way to the top. I'm gonna start with this strand on the right side and you've got your knotting wire strung underneath your two middle wires. So now you're gonna take this, you're gonna loop it above the two middle wires just like that. And then you're gonna take the strand on the other side and go cross above this one and pull it through the loop. And that will give you your first half. And I'm just gonna pull my wire down a little bit, my middle wires. Hi Susie, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So there we've got one half of our square knot. So I started with this right side. So now I'm gonna take the left side and do the same thing. So I'm gonna take this wire on the left, I'm gonna cross it on top of the white, two in the middle. Then I'm gonna take the wire on the right, I'm gonna cross it over this 
strand and up through this loop here. And then I'm gonna pull it tight. And now I have one complete square knot. I'm just gonna move these beads up a little bit here. So if you've seen my spiral macrame, we're doing the same thing, except on the spiral macrame, you just stay on one side. So your, your knot starts to twist and you're just repeating everything on the one side. On the square knot, you're going back and forth between the right side and the left side to have a flat square pattern. So we're gonna do that same thing again, the way we started. We're gonna take the strand on the right, go over our two middle strands, Take the strand on the left, go over this one here, and go up through the loop. And pull that, and then you do the same thing on the opposite side. So now we'll take the left side, make a loop, go over the middle, take the right side, over the left, and up through the middle. And then there is our second complete square knot. So I'm going to bring this up a little closer to the camera so you can see that you've got a loop on that side. So how it goes back and forth. You've got one there, then one there, then one there. And that is two complete square knots. So we're going to do that a few more times till we get down to this first line here. So I'm going to start on the right and then I'm going to go to the left. And you'll notice when you do that second one it kind of flattens out your knot. So if you feel like your wire is twisting you likely did one side twice. Now another way to know where you left off, so if I stopped here and I came back and was like, oh gosh, what side, what side was I on? I'm gonna pull this up again. You'll see that the wire is coming, let's get this in a good light here, okay. So you'll see the wire is coming up through this loop and out there, that's your next wire to use. So you wanna, always wanna look for where this loop goes that way and the wire is coming out. So this one does not have a little loop it's coming out of on this side. Do you guys see that? So I know that this is where I left off and that I have to start with this side. And now that I completed that one, you'll see that I've got the loop now on that side with the wire coming out of it. So I have to st start with this one. Did that make sense for you guys? I wanna make sure that, cause that's always a biggie when you step away or you get distracted you're trying to remember where you left off. And like I said, the other way to know is if your wire starts to twist like it does in that spiral knot, then that's a good indication that you doubled up on one side accidentally. And you can come back, the wire is somewhat forgiving that you can come back and undo a few knots and redo them. I've had to do that before you'll take your soft flex wire out and it'll look kind of wonky, but once you knot it back up again, it'll be fine. All right, so I think I'll stop there and add, and add a bead. So I'm gonna take my two side wires and just tuck them in, because I don't need them for the moment, to each side of my macrame board. And I'm gonna grab my first bead, which I think I'm going to use this guy. So I'm going to use this little long one here. 
which they have some of them do have some tighter holes because you want it to go through both wires and that one went through just fine but you might find with some of the beads they get a little stiff you really want them to go through both of the soft flex wires so that they'll lay nice and flat okay so once again I want to find out okay where did I leave off and I've got this little loop here with the wire coming out of it on this side when I get my finger in there it makes a shadow sorry about that so I want to start off with this one again so you're just gonna repeat the same pattern and you're just kind of going around your bead so you've got your loop you're going over your middle wires and you've got this one you're gonna go across and up through and then you're just gonna pull that tight and you'll notice it'll kind of pop out a little bit on this first pass but once you get to your second knot going on the other side you can tighten that right up and now I'm just gonna do a few more left and right full square knots and then we'll add another bead So how has everyone's January been so far? It's always hard for me in the beginning of the year to like <laughs> really feel like another year has gone by. It takes me a little while. I know everyone's like January 1st, jumping on those New Year's thoughts and goals and ideas. And um, I always tend to kind of simmer in January. <laughs> I think I'm just kind of thinking about the holidays, letting everything simmer from the year. And I'm going to stop there because I'm looking at my lines on my macrame board. And I said, OK, that seems like a good place to stop for me. So I always like the Chinese New Year is when I start to really plan and think about the upcoming year ahead, which I think that's fe around the first week of February. Maybe after Tucson too, I feel like that has to kind of get out of the way. Let's see what bead I want to do next. We've got these really pretty tanzanite ones here. I think I'll use that one. And then you could just string that rondelle up. Untuck these two. I can see that my wire is coming out of the little end loop on this side, so that's where I left off. Do your one half, then you do your other half, and then you pull that tight, and it tucks right around your bead. I like to choose a word of the year. That's been kind of my thing for the last few years. Instead of choosing a resolution of sorts per se, I choose a word that I want to use to guide me for the upcoming year, how I want to feel. And um, yeah, I've been doing that for probably a good four or five years. And that just kind of always works out for me. Last year, my word was light. And a lot of it had to do just being like lighthearted, a little more light and joyful. So now I came down to this line here. And I like... Let's see how many. You can count your loops too. You've got one, two, three loops on this side. Two, three, four, 
And this one I've got two and three, so maybe I'll do one more. So if you're counting, you kind of want to count each side. When you do a left and a right, that would be one knot. Do one more full one here. What is my word for 2019? I have not come up with it yet. I'm still thinking about it. I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use another one of these next, one of these long ones. Yeah, so I'm still been thinking about it. That's what I mean by January is sort of simmer and I think about what it is I want for the year. I have an idea. I mean, my word is kind of talking about change and transformation. That one's a little too tight, so I'm going to grab a different one. And hopefully this one will fit. Ooh, I had a couple fit before. So I haven't decided if it's going to be like transformation or metamorphosis or change, but those are sort of where I'm headed at the moment. Silver says, Silver Penny Artisan said, my word would be peaceful. <gasps> I love that. That is such a nice feeling to feel peaceful. That would totally be a great year if you can embody that word, right? And Susie says, I think my 2009 is going to be grace. I love that. That's another really good one. And grace has so many meanings in terms of like being, you know, giving yourself grace, giving others grace. Um, I'm just using my chain nose pliers to help grab my wires to get on this, uh, this bead. It was a little tighter, but we got it. My first word I ever chose was abundance, and that was just like such a good word. It was a time where I was feeling like I needed a little more abundance in my life. <laughs> and it was really cool to see how it showed up. So now I just picked up another rondelle. Oh, no, nope, I don't want to do that one yet. I want to do a few more. I'm gonna do a few more knots. Let's do a couple more knots and then I'll do the middle focal and then I'll switch to my other bracelet to show you how to finish it off. Silver Penny Harrison says, I love this concept. Hey, Jesse James Beads, how are you today? I am a working on a macrame bracelet with our exclusive Jesse James Beads Winter Wonderland bead mix. Thank you guys. We love working with you and your beads. Jesse James says, so good, thank you. Happy to catch you live. Yeah, I'm happy you did too. I hope you had a great holiday season and a happy new year. I know I went to uh, New York to see my family this year for the first time for the holidays in um, 14 years. So we've got a 14 year old son and I think we went when he was one and then I had another son and I was like, you know what, this traveling at the holidays is for the birds. So it just wasn't a time I went and visited family and then this year my kids are old enough that we decided to give it a go and we had just the best time. Kim says, hi there, Kristen, there you are, yay. Jesse James says, oh, you know it, happy new year to you, my friend. And Susie loves Jesse James beads, yes. Welcome, Kim, happy to see you. We just love, love, love Jesse James beads. So right now I'm doing a square knot macrame bracelet with a soft flex 
Winter Wonderland Trio. I'm using the white and the tanzanite. And I'm using our Softlex exclusive Winter Wonderland bead mix from Jesse James Beads that we have on our website for sale right now. The trio is not limited quantity, but the bead mix is. So once they're gone, they're gone. And they've got so many fun little beads in there. I'm actually gonna stop, I think, here and add in, I wanted to add in a little, one of these gorgeous little cage beads as a focal. So I'm just gonna pick up my middle two wires and I'm gonna string both of them through. Just like that. And then I'll put my middle wires back into the notch at the bottom. And then it looks like I left off on the left side again. You've got my little loop there and left off. So I'm gonna take my left side make a loop cross over my middle two wires take my right side go over and up and through that loop on the left pull it tight and now do the same thing on the right side make a loop go over the two middle on the left go over and through the loop on the right and pull that tight And then I'll just do a couple more knots to secure that bead there. And I'm just alternating that same knot the entire time, left side, right side. So you make your loop, you cross down, you pull this up, and then you do it on the right side. And then that gives you your complete square knot. So there you have it. I'm gonna move it up a little bit, show you guys how this looks. Susie says, I can't wait to make one. Yeah, they're really fun. I like how this one I has the white wire in between because you can kinda, yeah, that sun makes it a little hard right there. So you could see it peeking through a little bit better than when I did the darker wire on the other example. So I'm gonna pull this one over to the side and show you guys this one that I worked on before the video where I used those long beads. Then I used these little blue, dark blue rondelles. I put one of those cage beads in the middle. And on this one, I've got the dark blue. It's actually the blue topaz. I keep saying dark blue, but it's just darker of the two blues in this set. But this is the turquoise blue topaz color underneath and then the tanzanite on top. It does, Silver Penny Anderson. She says the wire definitely gives it a more refined look. Yeah, it's you know, it kind of takes your your macrame and elevates it a little bit. And the colors you can use, the, because we've got so many different colors, really adds to it. So here's what happens when you take your, your, your macrame off. You've got one side that's got two soft flex wires coming in because we just knotted right on top of it. And then you've got the other side that's got four soft flex wires coming out. So there's a couple of ways you can end this. I think I'm gonna use today I've got some large three millimeter crimp tubes. So when you're working on this side on the right, if you're gonna do all four wires together, you need to have that larger crimp tube to grab them all. Now I have in the past, if you don't have the large crimp tubes or you don't like the idea of having um, a small crimp tube on one side and a larger one on the other, I have grouped them like this and then done two two and two so that I could use the smaller two by two crimps on that side there. 
But since I showed that in the last video, so if you go back into my free spirit videos and look at one of the other um, macrame spiral knit, I showed that process there. I'm gonna do the large one on this one. So this is the large three by three millimeter silver, um, sterling silver crimp tube made by Softlex. Our crimp tubes are double the wall thickness of most and seamless. So they're super duper strong. You will need the mighty, where is mine? There it is. You will need the mighty crimper to use this large size. Now the mighty crimper looks just like your normal regular crimper, um, but it's bigger to accommodate that larger where the sun's coming so when you're looking at your crimper you've got your back notch and your forward notch there's two little spaces your back notch is called your crimper and your forward one is called your rounder you're gonna stick your crimp tube and before I do that actually silly me um, Oh, I'm wondering if I want, sorry, just thinking out loud at the moment. Let me grab my little, um, I'm going to pull out the two blue topaz that was my middle two colors and string them around the clasp so what I've got going on here is I've got two tanzanites on the outside and two of the blue la blue topaz on the inside I keep saying lapis and I want to take those two topaz through the clasp and then back through my large crimp tube. I'm just going to move the crimp tube up a little bit so that I can easily get those wires through there and then I'll push it back down. So I'll go like that. And then I'll push my crimp tube down and I'll just tug on these blue topaz wires until I'm happy with the location of my clasp. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to cut off these two tanzanite ones and I'm going to cut off the excess here. That looks good. So now going back to my crimper, I'm gonna place the crimp tube in the back notch first, back here, just like that, and give it a squeeze. And what that's gonna do is create a really nice divot. See that divot there? And then I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees, place it inside my rounder, like so. So you've got the divot facing out and give it another squeeze and that is going to give it, close it and make it really nice and secure. So now using my cutters, I'm just gonna trim off the tanzanite wire that's sticking up. And I like to hold the wire that I'm trimming so it doesn't go flying across the room. And then I'm gonna trim off the excess. You can go right up to your crimp. Trim off the excess of the two blue topaz colors that went down through my crimp. 
and now I've got my clasp on this side with the large three millimeter crimp tube. And then on this side, you just have the two wires, but you can still use the large crimp tube if you wanna keep it symmetrical. Or you can switch and use the small crimp tube on this side. And then I'm just going to take the wire, go back through the crimp so I can make a loop. And this will be a loop for my clasp to hook onto. And what I'm going to do is look kind of closely at what I did here so I can make it similar in size. Then you just do the same process again. You're gonna take your crimp tube and place it in this back notch first, the one that's closest to the joint of the tool. Give it a squeeze. And then you're gonna take it into the front. Turn it 90 degrees so your divot's facing out. Give it another squeeze. And then I'm gonna actually go around a few more times on this rounder, especially since there's not that many wires in here. And I'm just gonna pump and squeeze and pump and squeeze a bunch of more times. And that'll really help keep it a little more secure. You don't wanna be able to um, look down your crimp and see any space. So if you're seeing um, some space, some air pockets, then come back with your rounder, the front part of your tool, and really get in there. And then you can trim off that excess wire. And you don't, you can also use a jump ring on the end if you want. Um, so if you don't wanna just close the clasp on the wire, you can use a jump ring. I suggest using a soldered jump ring if you do that so that um, it doesn't open. I'm actually gonna flip it this way. Yeah, that lays better. So there you have it. That is the square knot with Softlex wire. Lydia says, Kristen, can you do a tutorial on making a bolo tie? I will have to try. I have never made one. So that is a challenge for me, Lydia. We'll have to see. Um, I'll give it a try and see if I can do that. <laughs> Thank you, though. I love hearing your guys' suggestions and what you'd want to learn. That makes it um, a lot of fun for me to learn something new and what to show up with when I do these videos. So let me pull some of these beads over again, just because if you came in late, you didn't get to see the whole, uh, the whole bead mix. So here are the remaining beads from that Winter Wonderland bead mix. You've got some really big cage ones, which would be really cute. And then even with just a little tassel at the end. I love that. Carolyn says, really pretty design. Thanks, Carolyn. Thank you for watching. So we've got tons of little um, You've got these cage beads. Oh, you've got these little uh, snowflakes, which are really cute. Some rondelles in there, a bunch of different blues, some teeny tiny rounds, as well as some bigger rounds than what I used today. And I used a couple of these large ones here. This one's like a fire polish thing on it. So lots of fun designs. They look perfect with our trios wire set. Oh, I'm getting low on my white. I need some white wire. And I still have this guy that I need to work on. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm really torn between either a fan pull or I loved the idea of the little purse tassel. So I'm thinking I might try that too. Stay tuned, I'll share whatever I make on that um, 
Facebook VIB group and you guys can check it there. Let me just flip you up and say goodbye. It is warm in here today. The sun is coming in that window. It was funny when I started, um, it was actually really cloudy this morning. And then as I kept going, it got sunnier and sunnier. So next week, I will be here again next Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time right here on YouTube for another episode of Free Spirit Feeding. I'm going to be doing stretchy bracelets. I don't really work with the stretchy cord that much, but I ended up doing a bunch of um, stretchy bracelets for Christmas this year. So I'm excited to do the stretchy um, bracelets with you guys. And I'm going to be using these teeny tiny little buddhas do you see them let's see if the sun is kind of getting up we have these little teeny tiny ceramic beads online in the bead section and um i'm going to use these little buddha guys with uh with some stretch cord for you guys next week to show you how to use that um also this week we've got uh carolyn says thanks for sharing your technique with us oh you're so welcome my pleasure i love being here and able to do it it's been such a fun addition to my job here at softlex company so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it um so yeah sarah will be doing a facebook live video on wednesday of this week at 1 p.m pacific time so you can catch her over there on the softlex company facebook page for a live video not sure what she's got up her sleeve this week, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, next week, like I said, I'll be here. And then we also have a live sale going on on our Facebook page next week. Um, and James is coming back this month, you guys. So James Browning is coming back with a Conversations in Wire video that should be posted later this month. I'm excited about that. I should know next week if for sure what the date is. And um, if you like our design challenges, we have a new kit, the Cupid Kiss Kit, that's currently on our website. We've got about 10 left. I checked that before I jumped on and then we had about 10 left there. Sarah does a video at the end of the month on January 30th with that actual kit. She designs along on the fly with you and um, then you guys can share your designs after the video airs into the VIB group for your chance to win a future design kit. So it's really a fun process. We we launch the kit uh, when the video goes live. So Sarah's gonna do that design kit video on January 30th. We'll be launching our next design kit. But for right now, we're gonna do the Cupid's Kiss design kit. Grab yours. If you grab it within the next week or so, next week or two, you still have time to um, get it in time for when Sarah does her video. But even if you get it after the fact, that's still okay because you'll have a few weeks that you can actually design and post your pictures on the VIB group to share with us. Um, and we will pick a random winner. It doesn't go on, you know, whose design we like best or anything like that. It's just throw your design up there, share it with us, and we just pick a random winner of those people who share. So it's really, it's really fun. It's great to see. Um, and uh, I think that's it for me today. Happy to be back. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys next Monday. Lydia, I'll think about that bolo tie and see uh, what I could come up with. <laughs> All right, thanks. Talk to you soon.